Hey everyone, thanks for watching another bonus episode of the New Marketing Show. You know, I did a Trinity Web Minute today about this topic and, you know, I want to talk about keeping your website alive, healthy, online, you know, with no security risks. So, one, make sure you always have a backup of your website. If you have a backup, then if anything does go wrong, you at least have a restore point. So, backups are going to be able to really save you a lot of headache, headache, heartache, all of that good stuff. So, Number next thing is, you know, get make sure you work with a reputable host. You get what you pay for when it comes to hosting. You know, our host that we use is Liquid Web. We like Liquid Web, we like Pagely, we like WP Engine. You know, any of those hosting companies are more on the premium side, but you definitely get what you pay for. And typically what you get where you your money is well spent is in support and uptime guarantees. So make sure that you're working with somebody who's really, really good. Third thing, as a WordPress user, right, not a, de a developer, as a user, someone who owns a WordPress site and maybe has admin access but not familiar with code, not familiar with how things work within the WordPress ethos, I think that a big key thing is don't touch things that you don't understand. You know, don't go into the back end, into the PHP files because you, you really don't know, you know, one keystroke will take the whole site down without a doubt. The other thing is, you know, if you're going to add plugins to add functionality without consulting a developer and just kind of do it on your own, whether it's because of time constraints or you're going rogue or you're not working with a developer, make sure that those plugins have been tested with your current version of WordPress. Make sure that they are, they have been updated recently. You know, you can also kind of, you can see how many downloads they have, you know, that'll say the popularity. Typically... You know, and this is a real generality, but a rule of thumb can be if something has a lot of downloads, it's pretty certain that it's a plugin that hasn't been abandoned. So it's a plugin where, you know, there's going to be support. It's a plugin where there's going to be updates frequently. So stick with those. You know, sometimes, you know, if you update, upload a plugin and you deploy it onto the site, you know, you don't know what you're doing you know, what you're introducing to the rest of your ecosystem. So bad things can happen. So just go ahead and just, it's better be safe. It's better to be safe than sorry. Last thing is you may want to use some sort of uh, malware detector security type system. We like Securi. Uh, they've never done wrong by, uh, I mean, Securi is the gold standard when it comes to web security. So or in the, within the WordPress world as, as we know it. So I would make sure that you would, you know, look into some of those systems. So there are four quick tips on how to keep your website alive, how to keep it healthy, how to keep it up. So, hey, thanks for watching. We'll keep posting videos. Talk to you soon.